So if you can take hold of your green squishy ball, it's inflated, but there's a bit of give in it, so you can have a good squeeze. Um, we're going to place that on top of your pubic bone in your neutral pelvis position. So we want to make sure that you're not in a scoopy forward bottom position, you're not in a sticky outy bottom banana back position, you're somewhere in the middle there of neither up nor down, you're right smack in the middle. I'm going to place the green ball on my pubic bone and I then interlink my fingers together. I then keep them connected but feel that pull action. This engages those armpit muscles again and I retain a lifted elbow position. I drop them down here, let's keep them up and you're going to breathe in to prepare. As you breathe out, your chest will sink, your feet will stand and your hands press down on top of the ball. As that action happens, you may start to feel that your abdominal muscles will draw together towards the center of your spine. And then when you breathe in, you relax everything. So on our next out breath again, with a tall spine, your shoulders to hips, your hands press onto the ball, you can close through those pelvic floor muscles, feeling the tummy drawing towards your spine with your chest and your ribs sinking, squeezing every last drop of air out. And then you breathe in and relax. As you're breathing out, chest sinking, feet pushing, fingers pulling, ball squashing, pelvic floor toning and abdominals sinking. Breathe in, release. And repeat, breathe out, chest sinking, hands pulling, ball squashing, pubic bone keeping that tailbone down, feeling the pelvic floor and tummy muscles breathing all of the air out. And then inhaling, release. And last one, exhale, hands pull, ball squeeze, ribs sink, pelvic floor toning, and then releasing. That's the ball squeeze with your breathing.